If you love God, don't skip this video because God has something to say to you. Stick around and watch until the end. God message for you today. This is the week where it all changes for you. God and his angels are working on your behalf right now. You will see and experience advancement and growth in all areas of your life. Don't quit. Don't give up. Your breakthrough is close. Type 2121 if you trust in God. Today's message for you, God knows how hard the wait is. He sees your silent tears and aching groans. He hears your questions. He understands the pain. But the same God who knows the pain also knows the reward. He knows it's worth it. He knows it'll be beautiful in his timing. The betrayal hurts, but God is going to use the betrayal to bless you. The ones who betrayed you will watch as you possess the land filled with milk and honey. God is going to use the betrayal to fulfill your destiny. Type 51, 51 if you believe this. It's less about trying to avoid difficult times and more about understanding that each experience that teaches us, whether it feels good or bad, is God's investment in our future. Sometimes the growth is going to hurt, the path may look different than you thought it would. Learn how to lead your heart. Recognize when something isn't good for you and be strong enough to let it go. Pain is a part of life, not the end of it. Don't let a fear of getting hurt be the reason you never know joy. Type thanks God if you trust in God. God is saying to you today, I know you have a lot on your mind right now. Your family, your health, the health of a loved one, your finances, your career. It feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel alone. My child, you are never alone. Lay all your concerns before me through prayer. I will send help, healing, and resources. I will provide I will make a way for you. All the resources of heaven are behind you. Don't worry, I have your back. Type, I believe in myself to affirm. God message today, I have a plan for you. Don't lose your faith in me by focusing more on the circumstances. When I led the Israelites towards the promised land that I prepared for them, through the Red Sea, by seeing the sea itself, they all grumbled against me. They said it was better to stay in Egypt. They have lost their faith by focusing more on what they see with their eyes instead of focusing on me. In your life, there are certain things that are happening. It may be making you lose your faith in me. But remember one thing, you have a promise from me. A promise to bless you, a promise to prosper you, a promise to protect you, a promise to provide you with what is exactly needed for your life. You also know that every word that comes from my mouth will never ever return as void. So have faith in me. Remember, I led the Israelites towards the Red Sea in order to open a way towards the promised land that I had prepared for them. So, have faith in me. For everything I have a plan. Always remember, you have a promise. If I have given that prom, then I will do it. Type 222. If you believe this, today's message for you God is setting you up for a life-changing miracle. He's going to see that your dreams come true and restore the years the enemy took from you. People will go out their way to elevate and push you to your next level. God has a great plan for your life. Those who spend their time trying to bring you down, bad-mouthing you, or gossiping about you are already below you. They're trying to drag you down to their low level. Don't fall for it. 
They can't see you clearly from down there. None of their stories really have you in them. They're viewing you through the lens of their own pain, fear, and hurt. They're seeing themselves, not you, showing you their pain. Someone who is happy won't spread hate like they do. Those who hate need love, not more hate. Send them love. The love that you give them will not only help them, but elevate you too. Subscribe our channel if you love God. God message for you, child of God, that vision was correct. The promise was true. You're not crazy. Do you see the warfare around you? It's proof of the promise. It's indication that you're headed in the right direction. Keep believing, child. Keep the hope alive, beloved. Supernatural doors will soon be open to you from unexpected places and unexpected people. To anybody who's reading this, I pray that whatever is hurting you or whatever you are constantly stressing about gets better. May the dark thoughts, the overthinking, and the doubt exit your mind right now. May clarity replace confusion. May peace and calmness fill your life. Teep Amen if you believe this. God message. Remember God will never waste anything. You go through in life. If you'll keep the right attitude, he'll turn that situation around for your good. It doesn't matter how you got there, whether it was by your own poor choices or maybe someone else treated you unfairly, God wants to use that situation to do a work in you. He'll take that evil and turn it around for your good. You may be uncomfortable at times, but you've got to know that you are grow and God is building your character. If you're reading this right now, I want you to know that all the stress, pain, and sleepless nights you are currently going through does not match up to the blessings that are coming your way. Keep your head up and keep praying because your breakthrough is around the corner. Type, I trust God to affirm. God is saying to you tonight, give me the problem and go to sleep. I will make a way for you. I did it before and I will do it again. When you wake up, you will be refreshed, renewed, and ready for the new day. The pain, heartache, questions, and sleepless nights are coming to an end. I am going to open the windows of heaven and pour out everything you've been waiting and praying for. Blessings of love, good health, and prosperity are coming your way. Stop tolerating bad behavior. God never told us to tolerate behavior that's not of Him, but He did tell us to keep the love in our hearts and pray for them. If someone constantly hurts you and doesn't change, remove yourself from them and keep them in your prayers. Forgive them and love them from far. Stop tolerating it. You don't deserve that. Just don't carry any burdens and forgive them but it's time to step back. Please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification for more God message.